Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. In this video I'd like to show you part 3 of the Crochet Along Peacock Tail Bag designed by Tatiana from Lillebjorn Crochet. For this video I'll be using linen soft yarn which is in the kit as well as a 3mm crochet hook. Slightly larger hook than in the pattern but that's because I don't have the 2.75mm hook that's described in the pattern. In this video I'll show you how to do the back side of the bag in a separate video I'll show you how to do the front. So here we're going to do the back and there's basically always half double crochet stitches. And what's important is to have your stitch count correct so that you have the right curvature to your bag so that it matches up with the front side. So I'll take you step by step through the rounds making up the back side of part 3. Where you've completed the front and the back of the bag, just check again for gauge. They should be about the same size, your two pieces, and the width at its widest point should be about 25 centimeters. That's 10 inches. So double check that that is still correct, and it's just to make sure that you have enough yarn in your kit. Row 14 of the back side of your work. New color yarn on my hook. I'm going to start with a half double crochet in the second stitch. I'm taking that thread with me from the first stitch and working it in. That's the first of five. It's two, three. Four, five half doubles. On the next stitch, you work two half doubles. So that's an increase there. Two, and then again two half doubles on the next two stitches. So that's one on each. There we go. Now we're ready to start the repeat unit. The repeat unit is going to be seven half doubles and then an increase. So that's seven and then two in one stitch. That you go followed by again two half doubles. So that's going to be our repeat unit. Start by doing seven half doubles. So that's one, two, Three, four, five, six, and number seven. Now we work an increase, so that's two in the next stitch. It's one and two and followed by two half doubles on the next two stitches. It's one on each. In case you're wondering what you're hearing, that would be my little hamster that's drinking from its water bottle. That is your repeat unit. Seven half doubles, an increase, and two half doubles. I'm going to do this eight times. It will not bring you exactly to the other side, so I'll just show you how to work the last two stitches. So do this now eight times. Seven, two, that's an increase, and then two half doubles again. When you've done the repeat eight times, you should have two stitches left. On those two stitches, you're going to work a half double on each. And then you can cut your yarn, and we can do the next round. It's two half doubles one on each of those last two stitches. Row 15, again going to start in the second half double, the second stitch, so it's going to be that one there with a standing half double crochet. There we go. That second stitch, taking the thread with me from the previous round and work a half double crochet on every stitch. When you get to the last stitch of this round, the 
very last one you work two half doubles on that. That's so that your stitch count remains the same. So you work a half double on every stitch and in your final stitch you work two. Also a good moment to maybe count your stitches because at the end of this round you want to have 99 half double crochets. So work a half double on every stitch and in your last stitch over here, that very last one, you work two. Round 16, new color yarn on my hook and we're going to start in this second stitch, that second stitch with a standing half double, the second stitch. I'm going to work two half doubles in that same stitch. So it's the standing stitch and a next stitch, both in that second stitch. Now work three half doubles. So one, two, and three. Three half doubles, and now two half doubles in the next stitch. That's one and two. Followed again by three half doubles. That's one, two, and three. These stitches are not part of any repeat unit. Now we're going to start our repeat unit. I'm going to do a half double on the next eight stitches. That's one, two, doing eight, seven, and number eight. So it's eight half doubles. On the next stitch, we're doing an increase. So we're going to work two in the same position. So one and two. And on the next two stitches again work one half double on each. So one and two. That's your repeat unit that you're going to do eight times. So it's eight half doubles, then an increase, so it's two in one and then again two half doubles. Do that eight times and I'll just show you the end of this round. When you've done the repeat eight times you have again two stitches left and you work a half double on each of those. That's one and Uh, 17, very similar to two rows down. We're again starting with a standing half double in the second stitch. So that second stitch, taking my yarn with me again. So in the second stitch. And now we're going to work a half double on each and every stitch. In your last stitch of this round, you're going to work two half doubles. So this is similar to what we've done a few rows down. So work a half double on every stitch and in the last stitch you work two half doubles. You can see I've now done the first bit. Continue, work one on each and in the last stitch here you work two. Row 18 of the back side of the bag. We're again starting in the second stitch with a standing half double. And this is the first of 10 stitches. That was one, two, three, and number. Those are 10 
half doubles starting in stitch number two and now we're ready to start our repeat unit the repeat unit is an increase that's two half doubles in the next stitch that's one and two followed by eleven half doubles one two ten and number eleven there we go this you're going to do eight times so it's the two half doubles in one and then eleven half doubles do this eight times when you've done the repeat eight times you'll notice that you have one stitch left you're going to have one stitch left here at the end and then in that last stitch also work one half double so do your repeat eight times and in the last stitch work one half double nineteen last row of this part new color yarn again and start in the second stitch second stitch with a standing half double there we go now you're going to work a half double on every stitch in your last stitch you work two half doubles so this is the same as two rows down work a half double on every stitch when you get to the other side work two half doubles on your last stitch so a good moment to count your stitches again make sure you have 115 half double crochets at the end of row 19 here on the back then you know your stitch count is still correct so count your stitches now it's tedious but um, do that that'll just make sure that everything is still correct work a half double go all the way around and on your last stitch so on the stitch over here you want to work two when you've done the front and the back of your bag you've completed part three i want to thank you for watching and i hope to see you again next time